I don't know the answer to something, I get really curious. I want to know, like, what is that answer? And the result is this book, The Disruption Mindset. How do you actually create disruption? I wanted to develop some case studies, some frameworks on how you actually create disruption, which I define as creating exponential growth, not only in our organizations, but also in our communities and society. So what really drives me is that I think there are so many issues in this world, so many problems that we need to tackle, so much change that we can create, that we as leaders can create. So that's the reason why I'm standing here before you today. Because I think in our organizations, we see the potential. You're here as transformational leaders. So how do you actually do that? How do you transform not only the organizations, but also yourself? I love this idea of an empathy map. Uh, if you know design thinking, empathy maps are a great way to be able to project not, don't describe this person in the future of your customer by titles or by demographics. Instead, think about how they feel. What do they think? What do they say and what do they do? Those are all four different things. And that develops an empathy for who this customer is going to be in the future. And that begins to convey who that person is up and, and down and throughout the organization. I want to talk about leadership as the next thing, because leadership also looks very different when you're trying to create disruption. You actually have to create a movement. Now, this is not something that we get up out of bed as leaders and think, yeah, today I'm going to go create a movement. I'm going to inspire people to do audacious things. And yet, that is exactly what you need to do when you're disrupting. Leadership is simply a relationship between people who aspire to lead, the leaders, and the people who are inspired to follow them. That's it. it. Has nothing to do with title. It has everything to do with authenticity, with your credibility. And do you actually inspire people to take on these audacious tasks? My question and ending um, point here is who are you going to be? It really is a choice. Are you going to be that victor or are you going to be that victim? And the choice is really about how far will you move into that space, out of your comfort zone, into the places where you can create that change. Thank you.